Despite Miz and Brooklyn doing everything they could to prevent it, I got the starring role in Rank and File 4. Red, on the other hand, wasn't so lucky. But I guess fighting with the lead actress during a casting session is generally frowned upon. Miranda, where are you? I'm in the spaceship's cockpit. Hurry, Bryce. We don't have much time before it launches. Your time's up, imposter. Cut! There's no henchman line in this script. You're just supposed to tackle him, and then he throws you off the imaginary launch pad. Let's go again, and this time stick to what's written. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What? Oh! oh! Security! Security intruder on the set! Get him, Miz! Oh, I can't wait to show this to my wife. Maybe I can win her love again. Do you know what I taste? My own tears. Do I smell? Yes, I do. Best picture. Is that, is that, is that on? Is that on? Are you getting, J Gerald, Gerald! Gerald? Gerald? Clear my calendar for award season. We're getting huh? tell me we're getting this Get that guy off my set 
I always wanted to say that. I cannot work in these unsafe conditions. Then maybe you should talk to your friend, henchman number five. You started all this. You know what? I'm going to my trailer and I'm not coming out until you're recast. Don't look at me! Okay, that's lunch. Ms. I appreciate you taking the time to have me on your show so we can set the record straight. Because the truth is, I shouldn't be here tonight in this crap basket of a town. No offense. I should be in majestic Vancouver, British Columbia, filming Rank and File 4. But unfortunately, my co-star, and I use that term loosely, let his personal feelings against my friend, The Miz, boil over. And now 200 crew members are out of work. That's right. I'm sorry to inform you that the production on Rank and File 4 has been temporarily shut down. And unless we come up with a solution, the shutdown could be permanent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're blaming all of this on me? I'm not the one who snuck on set like a crazy stalker and attacked the star of the movie. In fact, I have it on good authority from a security guard that you were the one who let Miz on set. So if anything, this whole mess is your fault. I would never do that to my crew. They're like family. Sure, I might forget their names or not let them make eye contact with me, but that's the exact same relationship I have with my siblings. Guys, guys, what if I told you I can make this act of injustice disappear without involving producers or agents or lawyers? How do you propose we do that? By settling who gets the part in a match at SummerSlam. But it won't be any typical match you've seen before. This will be an action-packed summer blockbuster. The rank and file four script will be suspended above the ring and whoever can climb a ladder and retrieve it first gets the starring role once and for all. This will be the premiere of the lights, camera, action ladder match. Sequels are tough to pull off, but me beating you for the part a second time is gonna be way more entertaining than the first go around. And since we're in the spirit of making movie-themed matches, I have another pitch for you. How about we give everyone a preview of the coming attraction to SummerSlam? Me and Red versus you and Brooklyn tonight on Raw. You'd all love to see me compete inside a WWE ring, wouldn't you? Well, too bad, because it's not gonna happen. I'm an elite MMA fighter and Hollywood star. This isn't my arena. Fair enough. But if it's not your arena, then why don't you get the hell out? I will not stand here and allow you to insult my esteemed guest. So, if you want a sneak preview match, then you got it. But it will be you and Red taking on me and my beautiful wife, Maurice. That's fine. Now that I'm a movie star, I get how it works. When it comes time for an action scene, you take out the lead actress and bring in the lower paid, less talented stunt double. As they say in Hollywood, ciao. This is such an intriguing matchup, but you have to wonder if Red was just a little bit disappointed. She didn't have the opportunity to get her hands on Brooklyn Von Braun. Honestly, I think Red's lucky that didn't happen, because from what I heard about their audition dust-up, Red's no match for Brooklyn. Boom! Nice! Very unique vibe for this mixed tag team match, that's for sure. It's not your traditional tag team encounter. You're watching Monday Night Raw. Suplex. Miz with a nice reversal. Oh, again! 
She's starting to look concerned. Face first into the snapmare driver. Kicks directly to the chest. Look at this. Oh, nice. Well, Nelson. Dragon suplex. Oh, a flurry of strikes. Lost in the corner right now. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. Boom. Beautiful. The Miz has been an A-lister for almost half his life. He made his first reality TV appearance in 2001 and it has been a fixture on televisions worldwide ever since. Oh, wrist lock up to the top rope. Hurricane Rana. The Miz is looking a little startled right now. Tagged in. Corey brought us back to the beginning of the millennium for the this is first reality show appearances, but his entry into WWE was also on a reality show. Tough. It looks like it might all be over for the team of Maurice and Miz. Is that? I think it's footage from Red and Brooklyn's audition fight. It certainly got Red's attention. And scene. French Kiss DDT. Maurice capitalizes on Red being distracted and pulls off the upset. What a huge win for the It Couple. Oh, the timing of that footage playing was certainly no accident. It looked like Red was about to put Maurice away. I think there's your answer on who played the footage. That was a coordinated effort among those three. Hey, it's always smart to have a backup plan. I've been telling you that for years, Saxton.